dress up as well. He's very particular. You're a good boy, aren't you? The first question is from Elle. Elle. She asks, what were the most challenging roles to play? And do you have any guilty pleasures? Most challenging roles to play, I can't remember. It's been such a long time. Um, I suppose Nixon was one of them. Um, guilty pleasures, I can talk about that. I don't think I have many. Um, I, I like cookies. Uh, my, no, my pleasure is actually playing piano, improvising, painting, like all this. But I do it for fun and for free. I don't feel guilty about it. Um, I have to stay away from the fridge and I, this is a good opportunity to train myself not to eat too much. Um, guilty pleasures. I'm not guilty about anything. I don't believe in guilt. It's a wasted emotion. Unless I've done something bad, you know. But, um, yeah, I have to stop eating cookies. Or brush my but that's all, really. And the uh, most challenging role, I think it was Nixon. Yeah, but I do it for fun and for free. The next question comes from Andy. And Andy, Andy? Yes, and Andy? she asks, what is your favorite piece to play on Andy? the piano? Andy. Andy. Okay, my favorite piece. Well, I improvise a lot. I'm not a concert piano, so like that, but I improvise a lot. And I play the right one enough, and I play, you know, all kinds of things. But I, I just like to improvise and mess about with it. Great freedom is that um, keep the brain out of it. Just have fun with it. They say that you write paints if you have a space and time. question is from Gun Gun. Hi. <laughs> they ask, how can you be such a role model and stay motivated to work until such a high age? Impressive. How can I be such a role model? Mm -hmm. Oh, am I that? Well, I don't know, I'm just getting old. And not taking myself too seriously, no. If 
life is glorious. And it's not long. So I try to encourage people to say, enjoy. I say to young actors, friends of mine, people I you know, they take it too seriously, which is okay. But um, ego, and, you know, gotta, that's all right when you're young. But there comes a time when you just have to relax and say, okay, well, this is it for fun and free. This is what I do, I paint, I play piano, I improvise. Um, I don't do skydiving or anything like that, but uh, yeah, I just enjoy life. And um, yeah, now I write. I've written several screenplays in this lockdown, and um, I'm going to write a novel. Yeah. That's what I say to you, you know, if I'm a role model, whatever you're doing in this strange apocalyptic time, whatever your space is, wherever you are, if you can. It's all very well me sitting here playing the piano, you may not know. But whatever you can do, if you want to write, write. You want to cook, cook. Whatever you want to do. Whatever you want to do. If something is creative, keep going. And it doesn't matter if you do it badly. It doesn't, who cares? Nobody cares. You know, I'd say to guys, I said, write. Who cares if it's good or bad? I said to the same actors, we have a, an acting group called Malcolm um, Fine Arts, which is um, you know, a, a forum. And I said to the actors and the artists and the painters and the musicians, it's still a small group, don't charge any money for it, but I encourage them to just enjoy life, not take it too serious, don't get angry with it, you know, just enjoy it. Be positive. Another question is from Rudy Bundini, who's actually watching your live right now. Yeah. He asks, where do you recommend starters to start acting? How do you start acting? Ooh. Well, I just... It's a tough business. It's a tough old business, but uh, you just do it. Go for it. And uh, it's not easy. Nothing is easy. It looks easy for me sitting here, having a long career. But um, it's, it's a tough one. But what do you do? Keep the spirit. Keep, keep believing in yourself. Believe, believe, believe. And we do have a strange way. Now, I can't prove this. I'm not a physicist or a philosopher or a psychologist. I'm none of those things. But I do have a feeling because it has operated my life. We can change reality. Now that sounds weird. People say, oh, that's nonsense. Well, I don't know. My whole life has been one of belief and pretending. I started at a very early age by instinct. And um, I broke away and I did what I did, and I looked, whoops, that's not bad that nibbler did that. Um, and uh, what, what I do is, my, I'm here, I don't understand it, my life has been extraordinary. And it's nothing to do with ego, I mean, you know, we have our ups and downs, and anxiety, fears, but no, I just, uh, if I had time, I'm going to write a book and tell you all about one day. But it has been extraordinary in life, because of belief, belief and faith. And that's all it is, but intensity, you know. Not, oh, I'm going to do that tomorrow. It's now. Gather it into yourself now. The moment is now. Because time is no reason. For example, let me say, I've just been playing a piece of music. Okay. Now, here's the thought. That sound may be recorded. My face is being recorded now. But it's gone forever and ever and ever and ever. Robin Williams says, season. Carpet, yeah. Gone forever. Whoa. The next 10 seconds don't exist. It's all an illusion. It's all a dream. Ask yourself. It's a great game to play. Because I play the game now all the time. I don't have a clue. I had known nothing. Time, what is it? Maybe time is God or the cosmos. But it's gone forever. And we predict, oh, I'm going out tonight, I'm going to do this tonight. We have no idea what's coming, because it's all an illusion. Yes, no? Next question is from Library Blues, who's Library. Wa watching your live. Yeah? What's the longest drive you ever took on your little travel adventures? <laughs> oh, I did, uh, I did a long adventure. I was going to do that from Simon's and Lambs. And I traveled from Utah, and I was going to go to Pittsburgh, but we funny. And the snow was coming, so I went down south and... I must have travelled about 4,000 miles because I went down to the south through the Gulf states and then up through the north. But it's six days. It must have done, I don't know, 3,000 miles maybe. But I loved it. I loved driving. I used to love it and uh, don't do it so much now. 
Take life easy. What other questions? From Ewa Coates. Hello, Ewa she Coates. She asks, could she... you please consider sharing your wisdom and most memorable life experience? Ah. Well, not necessarily around the same old subject, but what... Wow, my wisdom. As I said, I know nothing. But life has been, and is, this moment has years go by, the most extraordinary event. It's just being alive. What about circumstances? Be alive. Be alive. Read, create, whatever you can. Never give up. You know, start living. Wake up and live. And believe that it is impossible to fail. It doesn't matter if you do fail, because Flores is only a word. It is impossible, act as if it is impossible to fail. And things will start magically happening. It's happened in my life. I keep repeating myself, but it's true. And you can do it. I say to friends of mine who are frightened and nervous, I, they're young at me, because they, now their future's been held back. I said, don't worry, just go. Dig those ditches. But there's no rain. Dig the ditches and the rain will come. Watch the film Field of Dreams. Build the pitch and the players will come. It's all magic. It's all a dream. You sit inside the mason, yeah, yeah, I don't care. It's all a dream. It's beautiful to be alive. To you and from Suzanne Laird. Hi, Suzanne. Do you play the piano every day? Uh, yes, every day. Uh, I riff and I improvise, and I like to play right my mom, maybe I'll have a go at right my mom next week sometime. I'm sure I am, and um, uh, I used to worry about mistakes and all that, but I don't. I'm not planning on a concert career, but, uh, but I love writing music, I've had music performed, by orchestras in uh, Birmingham and in Wales, and um, I've been doing this most of my life. And the extraordinary thing is, I don't really have any academic training. And a friend of mine, Stan Minson, the late Stan Minson, who was a bona fide artist, said the same thing: Don't, don't get in the way of your own thing creatively. Don't think too much about it. Just do it. Okay. Zach, who's also watching your live right now, says, "Hi, Anthony. Hi, I Zach. hope you're. I hope you're well." Do you like the bull trap? <laughs> Never made me better. Do you have any advice on what to do when you're feeling low? What? Sorry. <laughs> do you have any advice on what to do when you're feeling low? Any advice? <laughs> well, we all, we all get those moments. Well, I, I, you know, I get those moments, and um, um, and I just say stop, stop. There's a wonderful book I recommend called Compassion and Self Hate. It's about what we do to ourselves, the inner critic. You know, that's always there. It's always there. The ego, whatever it is. It's a defense mechanism. And I say, shut up, go go out and play. Or hang the phone up on the voices. And sometimes I get a little bit not depressed, but down. Yeah. Um, I say, stop, 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 stop. We can change our lives. It's self hypnosis. We say, stop it now. Do something. Go to the gym, work out, play the piano, whatever you want to do, whatever you can do. Cook an omelet, cook whatever you want to do. And also, it's many people's birthday today, and they're hoping you can oh. sing a little happy birthday. Oh. Oh. <laughs> happy birthday to you. <laughs> Good voice. Happy birthday, everyone who's got a birthday. Happy birthday to you. Hallelujah to you. Good voice, voice. Yeah. And maybe one last question from Stasia before we close out. Stasia? Stasia wants to know your favorite book and favorite movie. Oh, my favorite book of all time is Scott Fitzgerald's 
The Great Gatsby, the American Dream is a great book. But I, I you know, um, I like the American authors, Faulkner, F. Scott Fitzgerald, and um, John Fante, or so many, uh, Philip Roth, so many great writers. And I, I, I'm a bit ADD, I'm all over the place, I read anything, I read everything I can. And I copy it out and I send texts of it to people. And um, anyway, so uh, a shout out to my family in Wales, and my friends, hello Roger and Debbie, Rosalie, Hugh and Bernice, Catherine and Dave, Aaron and Natasha, uh, Lisa and Mitch, Harper and Mia, uh, Anthony, Bianca, Jennifer, um, Brenda, and um, Jeremy, and uh, oh, let me just think, uh, Jeremy and um, Stephanie and Kendall, and all my friends all over the world, wherever you are, I'm your friend. Thank you. Thank you very much. Adiós amigos, si usan.